modern times. So we asked the question years ago, is acai rich in antioxidants? Now, to put this into perspective, we have a tool called an oxygen radical absorbance capacity assay. It's a big long term. We have a little short description, call it the ORAC assay. It was developed by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. It was first published in 1991. When this came out, and then they developed a way to make this test go very rapidly so you could test a lot of different foods and fluids, it became known as the greatest advance in analytical chemistry in 129 years of USDA's existence. So we use this validated assay as a way of looking at how does acai compare to other antioxidant-rich foods. When we did this research, let me go back here for one second. When we did this research, we had quite a few nutrients like uh, cranberries and blueberries and strawberries and apples with their peel and etc. And so the USDA went ahead and published all of these results, which we were learning about at different conferences we were attending. And I went to the exact same laboratories where USDA was doing their research in Little Rock, Arkansas as well as the commercial laboratory, which had then adopted this test so it was available to industry in Boston, Massachusetts, and we had them test it. When the first test came back, I want to show you what actually happened. This is when I'm sitting down at my desk and I get a phone call from the laboratory director. He's written a whole lot on antioxidants, he's done a lot of this research, and he says, Alex, are you sitting in your chair? I said, yes, I am. He says, I want you to look at your email. I've just sent you an email with an attachment. Open the attachment. So I, get, I find his email, I open up the attachment, and what I see is the following. It wasn't just that the acai was rich as an antioxidant. It was richer than anything we'd ever seen. And to kind of illustrate this, watch this arrow. That arrow just kept going. I would have needed another three screens to the right of my computer to let that arrow accurately define its difference compared to freeze-dried samples of other foods that we'd looked at, that USDA had looked at. It was off the chart. Now the problem when you have something like that is either you're a fool and will publish it without verification or you wait patiently to see if everybody else gets the same results. So we started sending our freeze-dried samples to different scientists, different laboratories, all of them stars in the field of antioxidant research. And then finally we decided it was time to publish our results and we did that in the leading journal of applied chemistry in the world and it really has helped stimulate enormous interest in acai as a result. So it has the highest antioxidant of any fruit or vegetable in the world. <clears throat> well, it's one assay, so we decided to do every antioxidant assay that was available. We did, for example, the Trolax equivalent antioxidant assay, the TAC, and again, you can see the very high bar, that is acai, and all of these others, which are moisture, equivalent, and they're also freeze-dried samples, so you can see there's a vast difference between the two. So gram to gram you get so much more of the peroxyl scavenging antioxidant activity and the peroxyl radical is the most dominant in the human body. So we got excited, but we had to do it over again. And we got curious, would we get the same results from acai fruit picked in different years? Would we get the same results if we went into different regions of the Amazon? Would we get the same results if we used different freeze dryers? We even tried different freeze drying techniques to see if we would continue it. And we consistently kept being the outlier, the highest antioxidant activity of all. We sent a sample to the uh, University of California School of Medicine in Irvine and the MD there who had developed a patented new assay called the TAO called us up and said, guess what? 
This is the first food we've ever seen that is both a slow antioxidant as well as a fast antioxidant. It means it works quickly and it also has sustained antioxidant activity. That got us excited. We also had another laboratory call us and they say, Alex, we've just finished bioassays on fresh human healthy cells. This is a potent, potent anti-inflammatory. So every time we get these results, we say, let's do it again, and let's do it again, and let's do it again. So you, I hope, appreciate why we laid down a very solid foundation of research over an 11-year period that preceded even the beginning of Mona V. And Mona V, in particular, I remember the telephone conversation I had with Dallin Larson, where Dallin told me that